Now, the Mad Singer had their season finale this week, and it was a showdown for the win between Medusa and McCall, and we get to hang out with the season's runner-up, the artist formerly known as McCall, multi-platinum recorded artist David Archuleta. Hey! Hey, hey. So, David, welcome to Dish Nation. All right, what was your reaction when you were first approached to do the show? I... I honestly was pretty nervous. I was like, I don't think I can do that. I was just, I'm done with singing competitions. I'm so <laughs> over it. Like, I do not want to enter that world again. Yeah. But when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? This could be fun. It, you don't have to be yourself necessarily. I would be a character. And so I decided, to, okay, let's do it. And when I did, I'm so glad I did because it was so much fun. And yeah, I was a big bird. I was a big red bird that was <laughs> flying around stage and it was <laughs> so fun, lighthearted and a good time. We all fell in love with you on American Idol. So how was it being judged for your talents first on The Masked Singer versus being seen first on Idol? I loved it. I loved that I didn't have to necessarily be myself and people weren't judging me on my face or like judging me like what kind of person I was. Yeah. They were just looking at the big parrot singing <laughs> songs. Did it bring back memories of American Idol? Because you did well on both shows, made it to the top of the heap. But you know, did you feel like, oh, not again? I feel like I'm used to being second place. Oh. I've I was second in my family, in my siblings. <laughs> Uh, I was second on American Idol. My single crush was second, number two. And then my album was also number two. Cause um, when Crush came out, uh, um, it was number two behind Rihanna's Disturbia. And my album was number two behind Taylor Swift's Fearless album. Well, David, you're you're a huge name. Those are those are huge names to be mentioned. With. Hello. I mean, that's something like, to be extremely I, proud of. There are people yeah. who are like third and fourth to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're the <laughs> you, you, you're number two a lot because you're the that's why, bro. Like, you that. God, man. That voice Thank is you. amazing. Now, you beat out some other major singers on the show. Who went home that you just couldn't believe was on the show? Oh, my gosh. Well, for me, it was the Pentatonix. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're my friends. Like, I've done TikToks with them. So oh, wow. the fact that we were on stage, we we're at the semifinals together, and why they, they were eliminated instead of me, I don't know why, but they they just kill it every single time. And while we're on stage, it's just like, we knew, it's like, you you get a hunch. It's like, okay, it's like, clearly you're Pentatonix and they're like, clearly this is David. <laughs> right. I also heard you got some new music coming out. What can you yes. tell us about it? June 2nd, I have a song, it's called Up. It's gonna be a little deeper, but it's gonna be segueing into more fun, exciting, upbeat music that I can't wait to show with people. Cause I've, I've never done like dancey music before mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm excited to get people moving this time, totally. this year. Hey, well, it's coming full circle talking about June 2nd, but I think it's gonna be a number one hit. So awesome, thank you so oh, much. Yay! David, thank you so thank much. You. It was great hanging out with you and congratulations again on being the runner up. Hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.